So guys, for the first step, you need to get into this screen. Now to get here, you need to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you need to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You need to repeat this three times. So, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to be saying that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And then once you're on this, I'll be showing you three different ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you do not see start to prepare, then you want to click on seam recovery options then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on start to repair, and now this will come up. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. Now hopefully this would've fixed your problem. If not, that's fine, we're gonna click on advanced options. For the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. And now this will come up. If you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you wanna click on next, and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you have no restore points available, then that's fine, we're gonna click on cancel. For the next method, you want to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then Command Prompt. Now once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and I click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, you now want to type in chkdsk space c colon space forward slash f space forward slash r. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. And now once you complete both those scans, we're now going to close out of command prompt. Now you're going to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.